Welcome guys, it's the official Sam Handwich here. Welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server. Now this is going to be a bucket server. Now you want to make a new folder, I've already done this, but make a new folder wherever you want it. I put mine on a desktop for um, recording purposes, so better make a new folder. And go over to, and name it whatever you want. I named mine server MC Bucket. So, and you have a folder in there. I'm going to delete all of this. Do something real quick. Just close that. All right. I'm just gonna delete all this. Okay. Now what you want to do is go to the bucket forums. Now open up your web browser and put in bucket.org. <clears throat> now over here, you'll see recommended builds. You want to click on the one that says recommended build. So we'll click on that and you downloaded it okay just wait for it to download and then and then you'll get it all right now you have the download you want to drag this into the folder you created earlier all right now that's in there next thing you want to do is go over to get craft bucket and right here depending on your operating system these are the codes you're gonna want to get so let's say you're on windows you want to choose this and um, if you're on um, another operating system you want to choose the others so uh, hold on all right now for your code you want to copy the correct one I already have mine copied down so I'm just gonna go look for that right now I have mine mine's kind of weird but I found a good code that would work for it so I'm just gonna get that out right now so here's my code since something with Java 6, it's it's weird. So you want to go to your back to your folder now that you have um, now that you have the code inside your um, clipboard. I want to do go back to your folder, your Minecraft server folder, and put a new text document. You want to name this Run or whatever you want it to be, so that you can you know that it's what you use to start up the server. You want to paste that in there. And then once it's pasted, you want to go to File, Save As, and change this to run.bat. And change this to all files. There we go. Now it's a .bat file. It's basically what, these .bat files is what you tell the server, you tell your computer to do. So it's like command prompt. So you want to double click this. Oh snap, I didn't name it right. All right. Since this is R4, I gotta edit this. R4. There we go. Now you wanna double click it and what the gay? Oh, sorry. This didn't do something right. Craft bucket dash 1.1. That's why. Alright, there we go. It should work now. Make sure inside the code that you have the correct name inside the code so that or you won't notice it because it is case sensitive now once let's just wait for that to create the spawn area and stuff and this will generate all of the files that you're going to need for your server now um, inside of this these files you have server.properties um, ops and whitelists and band IPs and band players and plugins world and all the other stuff now those are the main things you're going to need just close this now all right now you have your basic server working but you cannot connect to it right now because you need something to forward to that certain port port now if uh, for me to go in def um, inside your server dot properties is a server port now you've probably noticed that on some servers you have to put in uh, 25565 or 25567 or something like that that's because they forwarded their ports so that it would forward to the server so pretty much whenever you're trying to connect to a server um, your computer is trying to tell the network um, it wants to get on it wants you it wants to connect to a certain thing so you need a port for it to tell that your computer that um, 
it's going to connect to the server. It needs something to pretty much a guideline. So if you're going to, um, if you're just going to go out and walk somewhere and you have no idea what you're going to do, and you don't know where you're going, that's what that's basically what it is. Port 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 forwarding is a basic guideline to where which way it tells you to go. So basically, it's telling your computer um, to connect to that certain port. So if your server is running on that port, anybody that um, that has your IP address can connect to that port because connect to your server because of that port because it's telling it to lead to your server. Hopefully, I explain that okay. Now, for server ports, you want to go over to your server ports. You want to head over to your. Okay, now guys, now what you need to do next is now that you've done that, what I was talking about earlier is you need a network. Now I need need something to tell it to go to that. There's two options. You can do Hamachi or you can do a port forwarding. Now port forwarding is a tougher, longer route, but it's it's the best route because anybody without Hamachi cannot connect uh, can connect to your server. Now what you want to do for Hamachi, you want to go over to just Google Hamachi right here. Um is the download. Now you just want to select which one you want to use. Now, if you want to use unmanaged or managed, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Now, you want to select one and just go through the download process. And once it's downloaded, it's going to ask you to create an account. Um, I think it's create an account, but once your Amachi is done with everything, just set up everything it asks you to do. I'm just going to set up my Amachi now. All right. At the very start, it's going to ask you to press this big button right here. Just press it on and it'll power it on. Now, it will ask you to join a network before don't don't ask don't do um join a network what i'm going to do is create a new network um just name it whatever you want i'm going to name mine mc server bucket one two and i'm, I'm just going to put password one two three all right there you go now you got your network now what you want to do is look for this ip address right here it's going to ask you to uh, copy IPv4 address. It might not be IPv4 for some people, but just look for the main IP address, not this one right here. All right, what you want to do now that you've copied it, you want to go back to your server properties. You want to go to server IP, the setting right here. You want to paste that in. Now you want to save that. Basically, it's going to ask, it's going to make it run on that IP address. Now, um, Basically, your server has an IP, your computer has an IP address, and that's your local IP address. That's the IP address that uh, people in your network, let's say uh, you have a router and it's connected to multiple computers, it's basically what's going to tell you apart from the other computers. Now, you can't use that, you can't use that local IP address whenever you're, um, whenever someone's trying to connect to you from someone, some, somewhere that isn't connected to your local network. Now basically, you're going to need Hamachi to, to tell it that it's not going to run from your IP address, your local IP address, but it's going to run from Hamachi's IP address. And the good thing about Hamachi is it's simple, and it tells it's pretty much another port forwarding setting. It's pretty much port forwarding, but in order for someone to be in your network, you need to give them the information, and they should be able to join it. And they have to be in your network for this to work. Now, what you want to do next is now that you've got that all done with Hamachi, you can now try and run it. Okay, there we go. You want to start up your Minecraft. This may take a little bit. All right, now that your Minecraft is up, you want to go ahead and put find the IP address. It should still be in your clipboard, so you should be able to copy and paste it again. But if it isn't in your clipboard, just go back and copy it. All right, now in here, you want to direct contact or connect. If you want to do add server, it's okay. Now you want to put that in. Okay, you want that. You want to put the Hamachi IP address in because um, it's the IP address the server is running on, and it's telling it to run on that IP address. So. There you go. We're logging in. Outdated server, of course. Now I have an outdated server because I have I'm running on the newest version. So it would allow it will allow you to join it if you were the right version. So don't worry about that. I'm just gonna make a new Minecraft. 
dot jar I'm just gonna force update this so that I'll sh so it can be easier to understand all right now that's done I closed the server by the way so you don't need that up right now now for the other option this is the much tougher option now this is the option that um, some people choose to go if you have some knowledge in networking now this differs from um, other networks I have Verizon Fios so it should still be simple it should be still the same steps but it's just different um, it's just a different um, way of how the actual page looks like so you want to go to your web browser and put in 192.168.1.1 now for some people it won't be 192.168.1.1 it would be 192.168.0. something or 1.2 for this for you to find out which one it is you want to go over to your start menu you won't be able to see this because hold on let me just move it over here all right for your start menu you want to go over to um your st yeah start menu you want to click on it and you want to put in command cmd and you want to just click on that inside here you want to put in ip config all right ip config so ip c o n f i g so no spaces you want to look for your um your actual wireless lan so if it's sometimes it's not wireless but just look for your main ip address it's your ipv4 address or whatever um address it is it might be ip address or just not just just ip address alone you want to find this now mine is 192.168.1.7 now you want to save that for later now um for your i think this is what it is i think it's 192.168 yeah for mostly for most people it is 192.168.1.7 so don't worry about that yet or dot one dot one I'm sorry so now that you have your IP address you want to save that you want to memorize that or just keep this one up 192.168.1.7 alright we're gonna use that later now for this I have Verizon I have Verizon so it's gonna differ for everybody now you're just gonna have to find out your username and password yourself because it's, di it's different from everybody else and it's really it's it's limited to people who know what their username and password is so I know mine all right now I'm in all right I want to go to wherever for Verizon mine is firewall settings and then I go to um, port forwarding for some people it would just be port forwarding or whatever it is just look for it it may take a bit if you want to do this option now you want to go to your port forwarding and you want to scroll all the way or for me I have to scroll all the way down so it's different for everybody look for where it would ask for a new entry or a new port forwarding rule it's different from everybody just remember that now uh, I have to do is press that plus button you want to do a um, you want to put in your specific ho local host now um, remember when earlier when I asked you to keep this up now you really need it so 192.168.1.7 that's the one you want to put in all right there we go now that you have that you want to add a protocol mine is different it might be just right there so I have to go through this and then you want to set up your own port forwarding rule so I'm just gonna name this whatever I want so just look for something similar on yours so this is what the most important part is now you want to um you want to port forward your protocols should be TCP and UDP now I have to do this twice because it doesn't give me the option for TCP and UDP for some people it has the option for both so what you want to do is do source ports this is for Verizon so it's different for everybody just I just need to um, I need to keep emphasizing that because people might get confused alright now for your source ports this is gonna be the beginning port for some people if it is probably gonna say the beginning port or the start port now what you want to do is put in the IP the port that you that your Minecraft server is running on now if we if we go back to our server and go to our server.properties ours is running on 25565 since I have a server running on 25565 already I want to change this to 25561 keep yours on 25565 because I have to do this because of my own uh, my own self um, now you want to go back to your Verizon all right now that you have your um, put in the port that your specific server is running on so 
Um, what you want to do is leave your source ports alone or your beginning ports. Your destination ports are the one you want to change. So you put in 25561. For you, it's going to be 25565 or whatever port you want to change it to. Now you have that. I have to put in UDP. So for some people, they have the setting. Um, oh, frick. They have the setting to do that for both. So I'm just going to uh, make sure your TCP and UDP are both um both being port forwarded now i just need to set this up all right i'm gonna change it back to any because zero some people uh, won't be able to connect okay all right now that you have that done you should be ready and some people would say um for verizon sometimes it says this for no apparent reason it says ports conflict um even though i don't have any other ports running on the same thing so i'm just gonna let this load i don't know why this does this to me sometimes so that's basically how you port forward this works for other things like um it doesn't only work on minecraft but this is also a very good thing to learn if you you might need it in the future if you're going to make a server for anything else all right so it's basically done right now because my verizon's weird so yours should be done right now so it's mine's running into 5561 now so if you can't if you want with uh, this option you have to delete, go back to your server properties and delete the server IP that we pasted earlier because we want it to run on our own IP address. We can leave this empty because it finds a local IP address. All right, now that you've um, done all of that, let's just close this. We can close this now, it's not needed and we don't need a machi. All right, now that we have that ready, we should be able to connect to our server. Let me just fix this real quick. All right. Now we should be able to connect to our server. Now we want what we want to do is go. If you already if you don't already know what your IP address is, your there's two IP addresses. There's a local IP address, and there's the external IP address. So you, what you want to find is the external IP address. Uh, local IP address and your external IP address are the main IP addresses that you're mostly going to need. There's a bunch of other IP addresses, but you don't need that for this current tutorial. Now what you want to do is put in ipchicken.com. This is a good way to find out what your IP address is. This is my IP address, and um, I'm probably going to block this out <laughs> because I don't want people to connect to me for no apparent reason. Now this is your IP address. Now um, mine's blocked out right now, so you just have to find out what yours is. So that's basically it for that. Now you want to copy that down, your IP address, and you can close that now. <clears throat> now you can open up your Minecraft and then uh, start up the server as well. All right, there we go. Now you want to start up your server. This takes forever because I am recording too. All right, now we start this up. There we go, and then you should be able to add or direct contact. Now, your IP address was the one you got from IP Chicken. You can paste that in if you want. I put in the wrong one. All right, so I'm just gonna put in my IP address. I'm gonna block this out, and then if you change your port to something different from two five five six five, you want to put a colon. You want to put a colon, and then your port. So mine's 25561, so I have to put in colon 25561 after the main IP address. And there we go. Now we are on our Minecraft server. So that's basically how you make a Minecraft server. And it's it's simple and hard at the same time. It depends on your skill on networking and how uh, your understanding of things. Now, hopefully you guys didn't think that was too quick of a tutorial. Hopefully you guys understood it. Now leave a comment in the comment section if you guys need some more help on things. Um, I'll be glad to help you guys out. Now, um, if any more questions, send me a PM or just leave a comment. So if this video helped you out, please leave a like and um, please subscribe if you guys think this was helpful as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's the official same hand with you. And peace out.